What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we got a little game update in Call of Duty World War II. Zombies in particular. It's double XP, and this is going to be lasting until December 29th, all of Christmas break. So drop a like on this video. We're going to be covering all of the patch notes within this game update. It was quite large. So subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So it's going to be kind of a casual conversation. We're going to be going through a lot of different things here. First thing in particular is a multiplayer fix. We're not going to cover a lot of multiplayer, but this one's important because it deals with headquarters. Everyone's social rank rewards were not granting properly, but they're now granted. So you're going to have a lot more armory credits than you did before. You're going to notice a heavy increase if you've been grinding up until this point. I'm pulling all mine towards the Sten Frosty, which I have unlocked. First thing we're going to talk about is the MP40. This weapon was heavily affected. They buffed the fire rate on this, but in addition, this is one of those weapons we're going to be taking a look at with the 1928. It had a significant buff in the fire rate as well, so these are two wall weapons you'll find on the final Reich. Do me a favor, down in the comment section below, if you're new or subscribed, even if you're not, just comment down below, what's your favorite wall weapon? What wall weapon do you fancy, or what tickles you deep, deep down inside? I really want to know that. Let me know down in the comment section below, what's your favorite wall weapon so far in World War II Zombies? We got another map coming up, The Darkest Shore. Now, a lot of people are freaking out because we know the fog is rolling in, but I don't think this is going to be as impactful as a lot of us think on the map itself. We know the Final Reich is really dark. Some people are speculating that simply the pest rounds will have a lot more fog that rolls in, and that'll be the only factor that demonstrates it. Let me know what you guys think, but the combat shotgun also got a damage range buff, and this is huge. I know the shotgun community definitely wanted some buffs to come in. Things were not as powerful as they once were before, especially during the beta. Shotguns were OP. Definitely, if you were involved with the incinerary shells, I was not a huge fan of the incinerary shells. I got melted a lot in the beta by that. But the combat shotgun got a massive buff. This is the one we're looking at of all the shotguns that are available right now. The combat shotgun. And it really shines pack punched in zombies. This thing is extremely fun to use. And I like to say, shotguns are back. You know, like never before. I mean, you feel very powerful and godlike once you pack a punch it because everything just blows up when you shoot it. I really enjoy the combat shotgun. Pack a punch. This is definitely one of my favorite weapons now. I won't be using it a lot. However, I was told that this might be a wall weapon. Let me know what you guys think. But look at how far this shoots when you activate your super. As you know, when you activate your super, your shotgun shells get a lot stronger. So that's its max potential. The next weapon fix I want to talk about is a class wide change, and that is the LMG movement speed has been buffed. So every LMG, no matter which one you pick up, your movement speed is now going to be increased massively. Now what we wanted to test was, is it, does this affect when you have the stamina perk, which I believe is Lobin Blitz or Lofen Blitz, something like that. When you pick that up, does that affect how fast you are compared to what this buff did to you? And so what we did is we used the actual consumable that would give us both LMGs. And what we wanted to do is run back and forth without the perk and then with the perk. So this is what, how fast we can go without the perk. Some very juicy footsteps there. The movement speed buff is looking very good. Um, this is what it's looking like. People aren't as slow, but when we use the Lofen Blitz, it gets a lot faster, right? It increases the movement speed and stamina. However, what we noticed is that the speed isn't that much faster, okay? So if I were to run without the Lofen Blitz right next to him, we wouldn't be too far apart. In fact, you would might even think we're running at the same speed. I think the stamina is definitely the benefit of getting Lofen Blitz. However, the movement speed is just slightly increased, not by a little nose hair, that's it. So buffs are really great to talk about, but we do have nerfs as well. And the FG-42, the weapon that I first deemed to be the best wall weapon, has got a massive nerf and adjusted recoil accordingly. So according to how bad this was nerfed, the recoil was adjusted to fit that. And I don't think this weapon 
shines as bright as it used to you know this is one it had its heyday and it's strong and everything but there's so many LMGs that will outperform this however this is a rifle you know what I mean but when you're moving around with this I feel quite slow like I'm holding an LMG so the problem is is that this is not one of those weapons I would want to pick up there's so many other wall weapons I've become accustomed to accustomed to and that is the greaser gun in particular is one of them that's one of my favorites but uh, a weapon I definitely am becoming more fond of is the Sten, and that is a DLC weapon that came with Winter Siege. The final weapon fix is a nerf to the machine pistol. Now a lot of people in multiplayer were hoping this would happen because this is an automatic pistol. A lot of people use it to their advantage because the other pistols you have to fire singular shots. This one you can just hold down the trigger and go to town. But in Zombies, this was something we definitely didn't need a nerf for. As you can see, it's taken a lot more damage than it should just to kill these pests. So the nerf actually affected us worse in Zombies than you would naturally think. You wouldn't think this would still be a thing, but the systems still aren't separated between multiplayer and Zombies. They still, you tweak one thing, other things come in and they're tweaked as well. There were fixed UI issues with Zombies in particular, the double XP. As you guys know, this was introduced. Now we are in a double XP weekend. We foresaw this coming with the content schedule that was given out to us weeks ago. And finally, we got double XP. This is actually the first double XP event that has happened in Call of Duty World War II Zombies. And it's about time. The, at first, there were double XP issues. And it was deemed that we weren't getting double XP at first. Just we were grinding a lot. And that was in particular why our XP seemed, the progress seemed so slow, it was just standard and normal. So we finally have actual double XP occurring, and I can definitively say that. But in the recordings, in particular the recordings here, I want to talk about something that changed. I'm toggling the two audio files right there because those are the 25th and 26th recordings that were missing at one point. What it says here is that there's a fixed issue with the audio log recording collectibles. And I just wanted to showcase to you where exactly it was changed. Because in patch 107, what exactly occurred with these two were missing. Right? So we only had 24 files in the actual recordings. And now that the 25th and 26th have returned, that's what was covered in this game update. And I told you that in the video before this, but I wanted to showcase it one more time. Now this next fix I find kind of weird. They fixed an issue where players were able to deploy more than the maximum number of S-944 explosives and lost those deployed over the maximum. So they were applying more S-944 explosives than the maximum number they were supposed to have. I never knew this was a thing. You know, I usually rock the Simtexes up there, the sticky bombs, and that's usually my jammy jam. But the S-Mine, I guess there's a group out there that was had an exploit for that. So hopefully you got a look, good look at that. But the last thing we're going to talk about was grenade kills, right? These were counting for the Blitz use stats. So the challenges that said you could not use any of the Blitzes was not being rewarded because you were getting grenade kills. And that was actually the problem. You couldn't have gotten any grenade blast kills or that challenge would have just been deemed not worthy and you wouldn't have got it. So it sucks that these challenges aren't made out to be what they're supposed to right when they launch, but that's the world we're living in. And I can't be the only one living in limbo with Major Howard. I come to this man every time when his clock comes down with a reset and I think I'm gonna get my reset in and I can collect another 300 armory credits because there's two in here that reset when that timer goes down and I can usually collect it. But you'll see, this is actual footage of what occurred multiple times and this is still occurring on my profile it'll just say zero it's gonna reset in zero timer it just doesn't reset so let me know in the comment section if you're part of this limbo group where we just can't even progress here and that timer is making no sense it's not accurate to what we're living in and you gotta reset the game and the timer will give you something different now if I were to reset the game right now and come back it would say I got another five hours or something and then as soon as that clock's down to zero, it'll be stalled again. So this is something I'm dealing with. It's weird. But uh, by the time this video goes up, I'm already on Christmas break. I'll have a video for you guys tomorrow and on Christmas. A huge loot opening. So hope you guys do enjoy that. And if you guys are interested in seeing a huge zombie supply drop opening on my way to Prestige 10. Because right now, I've just entered Prestige 10. And I'll have more information on that coming up shortly. But we'll work our way there. 
towards Christmas and New Year's, and I hope you guys enjoy the ride. So be sure to subscribe, stay along for the journey, and I'll see you in the next one. Violent out.